Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Fem Health channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that many women facing a breast cancer diagnosis can find intimidating, deciding between a lumpectomy and a mastectomy. As a board certified general surgeon and fellowship trained breast surgical oncologist, this is a question patients ask me all the time. Let's start by exploring the factors to consider when making this decision. Firstly, the extent of the cancer and its location within the breast is crucial. A lumpectomy, also known as breast conserving surgery, involves removing the tumor and a small margin of surrounding tissue while preserving the majority of the breast. This option is often preferred for smaller tumors that are localized and well-defined. On the other hand, a mastectomy involves the complete removal of the breast tissue and is typically recommended for larger tumors or cases where the cancer has spread extensively within the breast. Factors such as tumor size, multifocality, and involvement of the nipple areolar complex play a significant role in determining whether a lumpectomy or a mastectomy is the most appropriate surgical approach. Patients with genetic mutations, such as BRCA, may also opt for mastectomy. Secondly, consideration must be given to the patient's personal preferences and aesthetic concerns. Some women may feel more comfortable with the idea of preserving their breasts through lumpectomy, while others may prefer the certainty and peace of mind that mastectomy offers in terms of reducing the risk of recurrence. Additionally, it's essential to weigh the potential long-term implications of each surgical option, including the likelihood of requiring additional treatments, such as radiation therapy following lumpectomy or reconstructive surgery following mastectomy. In summary, the decision between lumpectomy and mastectomy is a deeply personal one that should be made in collaboration with a multidisciplinary team of healthcare professionals, including breast surgeons, oncologists, and plastic surgeons. By carefully considering factors such as tumor characteristics, personal preferences, and long-term implications, patients can make a well-informed decision that aligns with their goals and values. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, no matter what surgical option you choose, you're not alone. Your healthcare team is here to support you every step of the way. Until next time, take care.